Morning. We're here this morning to honour Dr. Tony, and we have Sir John Peace, who is the Lord Lieutenant of Nottinghamshire, and Colonel Roger Merriweather, who is a Deputy Lieutenant, and Dr. Uh, Colonel Merriweather will now read out Dr. Tony's citation. Well, you look forward to it then. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, Dana. Um, and I would like now to uh, read out part of the presentation for uh, Dr. Helen. Dr. Helen Foley has worked tirelessly since 1976 to provide play and leisure facilities for disabled children and young people. In 1979, after identifying a need for disabled children to have a social outlet, and a place where they could have some independence and fun whilst giving their parents and carers a break. She set up a charity, Guildford Adventurers, a play scheme for disabled children aged 2 to 25. Her efforts, including negotiating with the local council to acquire land, finding volunteers and securing local support to build the centre, which was opened by Princess Margaret in 1984. The centre was staffed by volunteers and she held the post of president until quite recently. Through her determination and belief that even severely disabled young people could get out of their homes and enjoy themselves with the support of qualified helpers in a safe and welcoming environment, she made things happen. Since 1976, the team has grown from two volunteers to almost 600, helping to provide the most vulnerable children with a space to play and be themselves. In 1984, the play centre accommodated 100 children, which quickly grew to deliver play activities for over 1,400. Her endeavours started something that has progressed to meet an ever-growing need as more children are surviving challenging in parents. <laughs> what makes challenges different from other similar schemes is the non-exclusion policy that she has championed from the outset. Regardless of the level of support required, all children and young people are welcome. For nearly 40 years, she has been admired in Guildford and areas in the South East for her unwavering commitment towards disabled children, young people and their families. She has been made an honorary life president of the Disability Challenges. Sir John, Dr. Helen Burley. <coughs> 